you're supposed to brown things and then deglaze. And then this is just like, browned it all in one crowded pan, Hot. in butter, flipped it over, ah. poured a bunch of stuff in. Huh. Blow my mouth. Today on No Panic Pantry, we are making a braised chicken in pink sauce. A very simple dish uh, that does two things. One, it is to highlight the unsung heroes of the cookbook world, the recipes that don't have photographs. One such recipe is in this book called The Silver Spoon Cookbook. It's an old classic Italian cookbook from Fiden. There's a recipe in here that kind of like changed the way I thought about cooking a little bit in that sometimes when you start removing ingredients, it makes you realize what things really taste like. And this dish is basically just chicken cooked in butter to get browned. Then you add in tomatoes, milk, and white wine, salt and pepper, let it braise for like an hour and a half, and then you're done. Eat it with rice and it's delicious. And so this is kind of just one of those little dishes that makes you kind of go, yeah, you could add garlic to it, you could add basil to it, you could add all kinds of things to it, but if you put nothing in, you kind of go, oh yeah, that's what tomatoes taste like, that's what white wine tastes like, that's what milk does, and it's just a really cool way to do it. So, to do it, we gotta break a chicken down into serving pieces, so let's just do that real quick. All right, so first things first, we're gonna melt about six tablespoons of butter in a pan, much like this one. And so all we're gonna do with this is just get the chicken kind of browned so it looks nice. And kind of, honestly, I'm just gonna brown the skin side and then flip it, add everything else in. When you're browning anything, you wanna make sure it's dry. If you're browning meat like this, you want it to be dry. Otherwise, uh, the liquid will keep it from browning. And look, if you've got a smaller pan, you don't wanna crowd it, you can uh, do them in stages, brown it, take it out, put it in. I'm gonna see if I can just really simple man style this and fit it all in. It's very tight. This is like the not recommended way of doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Can I like snake it in? Fuck it. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Yes. Meanwhile, you can put these in a bowl, crush them by hand. You can run it through a food mill and grind it up that way. You could cut it up with a knife. I'm just gonna use this and just make a nice blended tomato. Hey Noah, why didn't you salt the chicken and pepper it before you put it in? And the answer to that is because it's another one of those things that you kind of always do automatically, but maybe you don't have to. And this is gonna be browning for a long time, uh, stewing for a while. It's gonna get all the salt into it from when it's cooking. Gonna get all that flavor built in. So we're gonna let this thing go. And if it isn't the prettiest thing in the world, if it's not golden, crispy, crackling brown, that's not a big deal because it's gonna get stewed in a beautiful pink sauce. I wanted this to be an example of like doing less is okay. I crowded the pan, I didn't salt it before, and uh, I'm not gonna mix the stuff. I'm not gonna deglaze the bottom. If I was a fancy Frenchman, I would take these out, deglaze, Build it all back in deglaze. That's my French accent, apparently. Now we're getting somewhere, folks. I'm going a little heavy because it's going to go into the liquid as well. Give the pan a little shake, shake. Give it a little dangle, dangle. For the Eliza Schlesinger sketch show heads out there. It's all six of you. We just bring it to a little simmer, cover it over like a nice medium heat, and we're just gonna let this thing go for about 90 minutes. Beautiful pink sauce. That's really good. So we're just gonna serve it. Put a little rice in a bowl. So it's really cool that this is kind of showing off how few things you need. Like there's no herbs in here. There's no garlic, there's no onion, there's no spices. It's delicious. Right, isn't that cool? You're supposed to brown things and then deglaze and then this is just like 
browned it all in one crowded pan Hot. in butter, flipped it over, ah. poured a bunch of stuff in. Huh. Blow my mouth. Oh. That's so hot. Yeah, it was braising for 90 minutes. was hot in the middle. There's almost nothing better in this world than hot rice. I think it's funny, for your whole cooking show, you just hear the baby in the back like, ah! Just quietly losing your mind back. Hello. I have no problem with a dog on a counter or a dog on a table. I think it's very French. And this is a very French dish. Very tight. And this, well, it's milk. And it's from an Italian cookbook, but yeah. Well, how, you do you, the people? how do you sign out on an episode? Well, whenever you're here, you say, take the dinner, call it measures. But when you're not here, it's weird and I don't say it. Oh, that's weird. We usually just hard cut on something really awkward. Blow in her mouth. Uh, uh. 